Wow. I love it. I love it. I've been doing it so long and I still I still love it. This this is an unusual one. This I am the only artist who recorded his song twice. First as a rock and roll record and many years later I slowed it down as a ballad. So we're gonna do this and we number one both times. Let's do the ballad. Thank you so much. My songs, um, I've been writing them for 67 years, believe it or not. I started when I was two. And I'm so very proud of being part of the history of American rock and roll. So I hope you remember some of them. Sonny and Cher, on uh, Tony Orlando and Dawn, on uh, oh, Tony and Marie Osmond, I did, did all of them. But I want to go back to the oldies because they're very close to my heart. So if you remember any of these, I'd like to start with a song I wrote for my girlfriend back in Brooklyn, New York. So this is the hug. Salud, l'chaim, l'asterovia. Thank you so much. Uh, I always wrote the songs for my own voice, my own recordings. This is the only song I wrote on assignment. A dear friend of mine, great singer, was doing her first motion picture and she asked me to write the title song. So we put Fort Lauderdale on the map. The great Connie Francis. Look at my list of songs. There are so many, so many hits, I don't know what the hell to sing. You paid your money, I'm singing them all. Living you, your own life. It's about 800 of them. I was, uh, there was a Neil Sedaka sound. I was known as the king of the tralalas and the doobie doobies. <laughs> when Howie and I ran out of lyrics, we would throw in a doobie doobie. <laughs> and we left it in the recording, and it became the Neil Sedaka trademark. <laughs> so here's one of the doobie doobie doo. <laughs> The first hit record is very special in any singer's career. And it was a doo-wop song from New York City, my hometown. And I, yes, I recorded it on RCA Victor Records in 1952. <laughs> they had just signed Elvis Presley. They were looking for a new sex symbol. <laughs> They chose me. <laughs> so I had a duo group in high school, Lincoln High School back in Brooklyn. I had a group called the Tokens. And uh, they were marvelous. We did all the local bar mitzvahs and weddings and all the hops. And um, I went on 
to do my own solo, and then they went on to do The Lion Sleeps Tonight. I wish I wrote that. Here's the first record. father and daughter hits in recent pop music, the Sinatras, father and daughter, the Coles, and the Sedakas. My daughter and I had a number one record in 1980 called Should Have Never Let You Go. So we're going to do it for you. Experience. Uh, my wife and I were recently in Beijing, China, and we took a tour of the Great Wall of China. And at the end of the tour, the Chinese tour guide said he was going to sing a song in English, and he sang, O oh, Carol. <laughs> I was shocked. I walked up to him, I said, well, thank you so much. That's my song. He said, no, it's not. It's Neil Sedaka. I said, well, I'm Neil Sedaka. He said, if you're Neil Sedaka, I'm Elvis Presley. And it's totally amazing how the songs have gone around. And after 800 songs, Salud l'chaim l'astrovia. Thank you again for coming tonight. I was in Las Vegas, well I started in Las Vegas in 1963 at the Fremont Hotel downtown. And there were four acts on the bill. I was the third act. The star was a lady called Molly B. Don't remember what happened to her. But we had three shows a night at the Fremont Hotel. And then I did all of the all of the hotels, but this one is very special to me. I love this this theater in New Orleans. I've been here twenty some twenty some odd times. 